Congressman Randy Weber, Republican of Texas. We're going to be joined, hopefully, by a few members. And uh, when they come, we're going to put them right up on the podium and invite them to speak. Congressman Weber, we're honored to have you. Thank you, Lincoln. And thank you all for being here this morning. Good morning. Come on, I want to make sure you all are awake. Good morning. Good morning. I've got you going. Good. I've looked at the deal. I've looked at the Iran nuclear deal. I'm here to tell you that it's a raw deal. It's a bad deal. I'm somewhat of a student of history. On my Facebook, and if you haven't friended me on Facebook, you need to find me on Facebook. On my personal Facebook page, I talk about this day in history. The Russians learned they could not trust the German dictator, Hitler. They signed a non-aggression pact with him back, back with them in the 39-40 era, and then about a year, year and a half later, he is bombing Moscow. You cannot negotiate with dictators who don't understand civil rights of people and individual freedoms. Now comes the Iranian terroristic regime and they want nuclear power. I'm here to tell you that the kind of power that they need is people power. People with individual freedoms, individual rights, people that can stand up for their country, vote for their leaders and make decisions based on their own, not those given to them by a dictator. So I want you to join with me in fighting this nuclear plan. It is a bad deal. I've been to the secured classification facility and I've read the deal. It's a bad deal. We are hoping that the Democrats on the other side of the aisle, our, our friends, the Democrats, will rise up with the Republicans and they will help us with the presidential veto override and we will stop this deal. You all saw the Green Movement in 2009 when people of Iran said that they wanted the right to vote. They wanted a voice in their government. They didn't want to be herded like, like cattle. And yet you've got a regime that is intent on hurting their own people in, like cattle in Iran. If they get money from this deal, if they get the sanctions released, how much of that money do you think will actually go to benefit the people? I will, I'm here to submit to you very, very little. Most of it will go in to the government coffers, if you will, to improving their lot and making sure that they press their impressive regime more and more and more. The nuclear deal must be stopped. Now, you're going to watch a Congress in the next 60 days. Read this. I hope you'll call your members of Congress. I hope you'll call your senators. I hope you will work long and hard and you will tell this regime enough is enough. Iran, the terroristic regime in Iran has been a bad actor for too long. Since 1979, that's 36 years. Can we trust this terroristic regime, the Supreme Leader? Absolutely not. We've got an administration that's negotiating with them at the table all the while while they're going to rallies and they're chanting death to America. What's wrong with this picture? We want life for the Iranian people. We want to get rid of this oppressive regime. Don't give in to them. Tighten the noose around their neck. Bring them to the table and make them give up American hostages and also as important, make them free the Iranian people. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, Congressman.